baptized by blazing fire. This is the incredible story of a small Korean church that experienced an amazing revival. With their spiritual eyes open, they encountered intense spiritual warfare, transforming encounters with Jesus Christ, and many visits to both heaven and hell. Every demonic trick in the book was used against them to stop their 30-day all-night prayer rally. There are five books in this series. This is an abridged version of book number one. from Jesus to Pastor Kim. From now on, whatever experiences you and your congregation members see, you must document precisely what you see and hear. Through this, I desire all the churches in Korea and all over the world to wake up. This is the reason you were brought into this world. At this time, the Korean churches and the congregation's interior and exterior faithful livelihood is in conflict with what I intended for them. The pastoral leaders and the church members worship me in formality and know me merely in a written theory. Pastor Kim Our congregation believes in the power of speaking in tongues. So we were able to pray longer, more earnestly, and much deeper. Praying in tongues also helped us concentrate and with it came incredible abilities that opened up our spiritual sight. The process of unlocking the spiritual sight of an individual is not only arduous, but one must overcome many obstacles. Therefore, if you are carelessly absent-minded and inadequately equipped, you will pay dearly. Now we too are thoroughly prepared to counterattack by carefully preparing ourselves with praise, filling our hearts with the words of Jesus, and seeking earnestly by crying out to the Lord. Satan's subordinates come singly. Then when one fails, two more approach. Then they attack in groups of 10, 30, 50, 100, and even greater numbers. The groups repeatedly scatter and reunite to attack according to the situation. Then, when one is chased away by a prayer, the evil spirit moves on to the next target with teasing, poking, tempting, and sometimes with whispers of sweet talk. Finally, when their identity is exposed, they quickly run away. Satan's subordinates appear before us in various appearances. Sometimes they would try to lure us by impersonating a famous entertainer or an innocent little child or a false Jesus or by masquerading as a beautiful angel of light. They even threw us into confusion when they appeared flawlessly disguised as my own daughter. We fought and won but also lost many battles against the evil spirits. With our losses came agonizing pain in our flesh. The pain was so intense we rolled and tumbled on the ground many times. When we were faced with frightfully unmanageable demons, our Lord mobilized the Archangel Michael and the heavenly angels to assist us. Our loving Lord assures us that we are not alone when we call on the heavenly angels to support us after we collapse from exhaustion following the battle. Jesus reminded us to equip ourselves with daily prayer. It is necessary to have regular prayer. Jesus described the importance of praying in agreement with two or more witnesses. Matthew 18, 19. The evil forces do not leave gently. Instead, they leave scars and the suffering continues. Our 2005 motto was, Be Revived Through Prayer and we began our prayer rally on January 2nd. It ran for 30 days, and there were 10 members in total. On the first day after Sunday evening service, we had a prayer service. On the second day, January 3rd, we experienced the fiery presence of the Holy Spirit. 
The unity prayers, as well as the individual prayers, exploded uncontrollably and continued until 7.30 a.m. the next morning. After prayer service ended, we gathered in a circle to hear the testimonies and exactly what it was like to meet Jesus. The duration of our prayer service became longer and longer. Wednesday evening service started at 7.30 p.m. and barely finished by 8 a.m. the next morning. Thursday, 9 p.m. to 10 a.m. God totally reversed our thinking. The more we prayed, the more the Lord impacted us with amazing things. Even though our service lasted through the night, no one complained. Instead, they longed for more spiritual food. The Lord came to visit us while we prayed. We saw Him through our spiritual eyes, but at times we saw Him clearly with our physical eyes. As the children experienced Jesus, they were freed from disobedience and transformed into submissive, faithful servants. Two of our members, after seeing heaven and hell, cried on their knees and asked forgiveness for the times they mistreated me. In sub-zero weather, they went out to share the gospel while they blew warm breath into the palms of their hands. They headed out at 4 p.m. and did not return until 8.30 p.m. with their hands and feet frozen cold. They knew they had to be diligent because they saw their treasure being stored up in heaven. Mina, the five-year-old girl, prayed in tongues with her arms held high for two to three hours. Our congregation received divine gifts of prophecy, spiritual distinction, speaking in tongues, knowledge, wisdom, and divine faith. There are no falsified contents in this book. Only the personal experiences of members involved with the prayer rally. Day number two, Pastor Kim's testimony. With the Holy Spirit's special intervention, it was as if we were on fire as we prayed. Even though it ended after 7 a.m. the next morning, we felt that we did not get enough. Yo Kyung Lee's testimony. I deeply yearned and with all my might called out to the Lord, Jesus, Jesus, I love you. Let me see you. Appear to me. I shouted and prayed diligently in tongues. About an hour had passed when suddenly a bright light shone and someone was standing inside the light. I opened my eyes and was filled with shock but did not see anything. When I closed my eyes again, I could see clearly, so I kept my eyes closed. Jesus stood before me wearing a bright glowing garment. Yo Kyung, I love you. Jesus said these words, then drew closer to me and sat in front of me. I don't think I ever saw anyone as beautiful as him. Jesus' hair was golden and he had beautiful big eyes. Jesus gently stroked my hair and said, Yo Kyung, I love you. I began to cry and my heart melted. I want to show you what heaven is like. Soon we were on the way to heaven. There was a light shining so bright that I could not open my eyes. I thought, this must be heaven. When we arrived, countless angels with wings welcomed us. And Jesus took me around, introducing me to many angels. Later, Jesus asked me, Yo Kyung, are you happy to be visiting heaven? Yes, Jesus, very, very happy, Jesus said. Pray diligently, obey Pastor Kim, and attend church service as well. Then I will take you to visit heaven more often. So be zealous. After it was over, I shared my testimony of meeting Jesus and visiting heaven. Bong Nyo Beck's testimony. Each of us were kneeling down on a cushion to pray. Next to me was the pastor's wife, who was dancing, filled with the Holy Spirit. Her dance was smooth, like flow 